Have you ever wondered why some teaching candidates land their dream job on their first try while others get stuck in an endless loop of interview after interview? What if I told you there was one key strategy that they're using that you might be missing? And in today's episode, we're going to explore that one key strategy and help you use it to leverage your next opportunity. Grab a pen, a piece of paper, and get ready to take some notes because we're going to unlock that strategy right now. Hey everybody, Dr. Gordon Emerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any of our coolest updates or any of our newest episodes or content. So let's jump right in. We know how daunting, how challenging, and how stressful interviewing can be. You fumble over your words. You get tongue-tied. You kind of lose your train of thought. You get nervous. All of these things are normal and all of them are to be expected. Because here's what we know. When you're interviewing, you want the job. You prepared, you put a resume together, you put a cover letter together, you've called references, you've gotten letters of recommendation, like you've put forth the effort to say, I'm going to put my best foot forward to go after this job. And the hurdle that you've got to climb over is that interview, being in that room that's tense, it's heavy, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And that is normal. And that just means that it matters. So what we want to talk about today is what's a strategy that you can use that will help you stand out and maybe just unlock that next opportunity for you to get your dream job as a classroom teacher, as an educator. Because when you're in an interview, this is an opportunity for you to impress the principal to impress the hiring committee or the panel, this is an opportunity for you to shine and showcase who you are and what you're all about. And so this strategy is a great way to showcase who you are and what your skills are. So let's jump right in with what's this high impact strategy that we're talking about. That high impact strategy is the ability to tell stories, to be a storyteller in the midst of the interview. So they're saying, Gordon, what, what are you talking about? Storyteller. Well, think about your own experience as a student. Think about your favorite classes. Think about your favorite lessons. Think about those learning opportunities where you really remember and something resonated with you from one of your classroom teachers. A lot of times it was around their ability to capture your imagination and to capture your attention. We as human beings are hardwired to love hearing stories. You think about your, your grandmother or your grandfather or that sage person who's full of wisdom in your family or in your social circles. And when they tell a story, they draw you in. This is no different than in the interview process. When we tell good stories tied to our experience, tied to our education, tied to what we've learned, what we've been exposed to, what we've had the opportunity to see and hear and be around. If we can tell stories about those experiences, we can capture someone's attention. We can capture the principal's attention. If we can tell the principal just how impactful their high school baseball coach was in their life to give them an opportunity and that that baseball coach saw something in them that told them to push harder, to go farther, to be more, that you can be a champion, that you can be great. That's my story. And I've told the story about my high school baseball coach and just how impactful he was. When I was a brand new superintendent giving my very first convocation to my staff 
in my district, I told the story about my high school baseball coach and the things that he did to help me be successful. And then how now I have the opportunity to pour back into other people and do the same exact thing that my coach did for me. But telling stories captures people's attention. It grabs and tugs at their heartstrings. But even more so, it tells them what kind of dynamic ability you will have when you're in front of kids and in front of a classroom. Can you capture someone's attention? Can you inspire them? Can you motivate them? Can you push them to go further? So be a good storyteller. Think about who you are, where you've been, what you've experienced, who's touched your life, who's impacted you in positive ways, who's impacted you in negative ways. There are ways to tell stories of pain and stories of turmoil, trials and tribulations, but also triumphs. Those are effective stories as well. But be masterful at story at storytelling. So let me give you three practical strategies that will help you to be an effective storyteller while you're in your next interview. Okay, so the first thing that you want to think about or a good strategy that you can incorporate to add value, to add depth to your storytelling is to back it up with data. Have data, have evidence. If you're going to talk about uh, uh, telling a story about effective strategies, effective lessons, do you have some data sets? Do you have some numbers? Do you have some statistics that would show and just bolster that story to give it more color, to give it more commentary, to give it more depth, right? To give it more credibility. Because when we tell stories, we want to be a credible storyteller and one of the most impactful and the most powerful ways to tell a story and have it have credibility is to back it up with data and evidence. So thinking about ways to incorporate that data and pull that data in to round out your story is a critically important strategy that you'll, you can use as your storytelling. All right. A second way, a second strategy that you can use as you're telling a story teaching a story is to use a strategy of, of a micro teaching lesson, a micro teaching experiment, because you can tell a story through that. This is a type of lesson that I've prepared. These are the types of lessons that I utilize. These are the types of experiences. These are the type of activities. Why do I use these experiences? Why do I use these activities? These are micro teaching lessons, but also micro stories, giving validation, giving uh, coherence, connections to why you teach what you teach, how you teach it, what influences are you drawing from, where have you seen these types of lessons before, who inspired you to teach these types of lessons or these types of strategies, but having a little micro teaching concept put together, even having that as a part of your own repertoire that is maybe a pre-planned or pre-thought out idea is a good strategy to bring into the interview process. Again, telling stories and connecting the dots is gonna be an powerful, a very, very powerful strategy. So thinking about a micro teaching lesson, a micro teaching experience where you can connect the dots is another way to tell a story and give more depth, excuse me, another way to tell a story and give more depth to who you are as a candidate and a potential new teacher at that particular school. All right, before we move into strategy number three of how to tell more effective stories, I want you to go to the pinned comments below the video. And in those pinned comments, I have a free gift for you. But it's going to be a tool that you can use that will help you prepare for your next interview. It will give you tips. It will give you strategies. It will give you frameworks for how you can best kind of prepare yourself for your next interview. So check the pinned comment below and feel free to download that free gift. It's going to give you some strategies and some tips that I think will be very, very helpful. Now, let's talk about the third strategy. The third strategy to be an effective storyteller is to leverage your emotional intelligence. So we've thought about this through a couple of different lenses. It's important to tell stories because as human beings, we're hardwired to connect a story. 
And so we talked about strategies around using data, right? So to kind of use that, that logos, that logical thinking in people's brains. So use data to back it up. And then we thought about what are the practical skills that I want to showcase? Well, let me practically show that I'm an effective instructor and I can teach and I can do that on the fly and I can show the connective dots of why a lesson is important and how I can showcase those skills. But let's talk about emotional intelligence because I think that we sometimes forget about the power of leveraging who we are, what we're all about, how we connect, why it's important to connect on a human level. And the reason that we want to leverage our emotional intelligence around compassion, self-awareness, motivation, the reason we want to connect the dots around that is that's the work that we do every single day as an educator. Being self-aware, being being highly motivated to do what's necessary to support our students in our classrooms, being highly motivated to engage with our colleagues around collaborative conversations, around problem solving, about what are we thinking about the next thing that we can do for our kids and for our community, but leveraging our emotional intelligence around issues of empathy and compassion and courage and commitment, digging into those facets of who we are now we can tell stories about being a compassionate individual. We can tell stories about being empathetic, about understanding where the kids of our community maybe have come from and what they're experiencing because I came from the same type of background or they resonate with me because I'm a member of this community. I've grown up in communities like this. I see myself in them. These are strategies that you can leverage to put yourself far and away above other candidates. If you tap into these pieces, the emotionality of it, the pure dedication, commitment, and absolute energy you've got to bring to an interview to get that principle to be motivated to say, you are the person that I need to have on my campus. You are the person that I've been waiting to hire. You are the person that I am not going to let leave out of my office before calling the director of HR and telling them to prepare a contract for you because I need to hire you. You can leverage story and you can leverage these strategies to create that type of moment and create that type of opportunity to land you your dream job as an educator and then spend the, your career, your next 10, 15, 20, 25, 35 years inspiring the next generation of children. It's what I've spent the last 25 years of my life doing and I am having so much fun. I can't see myself doing anything else other than inspiring kids, inspiring staff, inspiring communities, building a better society. And I want to welcome you into this as a profession and giving you these tools and these strategies and these opportunities to showcase and highlight and shine when you're in the interview process, it's going to, it's going to give you the springboard to go to the next level, right? So share with us in the comments below one takeaway that you had from this video, from this episode, what's something that's resonating with you? What's something that you want to go deeper on? What other questions do you have? What other things could I help provide to you? Share that with us in the comments below because we want to build a community that's responsive to what you need and how we can help serve you and support the work that you're doing. That's critically important. That's part of our mission. We want to grow 10,000 educators across this nation, across the world that just inspire kids. So share that with us in the comments below because it will continue to add value so we know what to produce, what to share, what insights that we can give to you that will be helpful. And if you wanna know more about how to prepare for your next interview, check out this next video that's kind of right here in the middle of the screen. It's gonna show you strategies, tips, frameworks. Very similar to the free gift. Again, remember go to that pinned comment below to get that free gift but we're gonna share some of those insights in that in this video that's up next as well, right? And 
If you want more information on coaching, mentoring, our monthly new, excuse me, not monthly, our weekly newsletter, check the description below. We want to continue to build this community, continue to build up everything that is good about education. And we need your help in order to do that, to get that message out. So if you've gotten this far in the video, don't forget, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this with a friend, share it with 10 friends so we can continue to get the message out. I want to thank you for the work that you do. I want to thank you for who you are and what you're going to be for kids when you land your next dream job. And so be on the lookout for our next episode. Until then, be well, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone.